What's going on guys, it's Kai Darts here, back with another video. Look guys, today we're going to be using Fluent Power Trips add-on by CG Thoughts for Blender, and we're going to be using the pipe tool. So yesterday I had someone contact me on Facebook, and they had this image of a generator, and they really wanted to know how to go about creating this organic pipage going around the generator. And uh, I had a quick and easy response, and that's just Fluent Power Trip and they just didn't know how they would go about using Fluent Power Trip for this. And this is really simple. So to do that, we have our default cube here and I'll just scale this the Y axis so we can get a more uh, rectangular shape. Now to do this, I'm just gonna hit F to bring up the Fluent menu and let's go to pipe down here at the bottom left area. And on the model, I'm gonna click in this top left corner and I'm gonna rotate underneath and select somewhere around here. And quickly you'll see we have this, this shape. Now I'm gonna hit W on the keyboard so I can bring up the wireframe so you guys can see some of the parameters I'm gonna be uh, adjusting. Now if I hold left, I can uh, bring up this menu and start adjusting these to kind of reduce some of the poly count. So we can go to bevel width and we can slide our mouse left and right and adjust this to what we need. And this looks fine here. Now we'll left click hold and let's go to root. We can change this taller and make this shorter if we need to. Once it's satisfied, just click. And we can also change the uh, segments. So if we go to bevel segments, we can slide this down to reduce that count. And this is fine somewhere around here. Or I'll make it a little lower. This is, this should do right here, right? there so let's confirm that now what i'll do is just right click to exit this you see uh, the wireframe is still on because i want to just show you guys what we're doing if i just scale this down really quick you'll see what i'm about to do next now i want this to uh be seamless and to be attached so what i would first do is uh get rid of this arc here and i'd go about doing that by hitting tab after selecting the model, and I can delete these vertices here, but I leave this vertice here. So I'll hit X, go to vertices, and now we just have this one here. And if I want to move this, I can change this where I want to. And if I hit one on the keyboard, I'll go to this view here in the orthographic view, and I'll just want to slide this over because what I'm going to be doing is mirroring this and I'm just going to bridge the gap. So once I'm satisfied with that, I'll do the same for this bottom one as well. Get rid of this, this curvature. Delete the vertices. I'll hit three on the keyboard to go to the side view. And I'll just slide this down somewhere around here. Should be fine. And what I'll do next is hit tab to exit that mode. And right now, this is still, uh, we're working with NURBS right now, although it looks like this is an actual mesh. But quickly, you'll notice if we try to, uh, say if we try to slice this, let me hit F, go to slice. We can't slice this because this is still NURBS, which means we can't do anything. We have to convert this by selecting it, right click, and go to convert to mesh. Once you convert it to mesh, now we can do any operation we need to. And I just want to mirror this, so I'll just go to the modifier tab, go to mirror. Where are you hiding? And you'll see that in the x-axis it mirrored it on the opposite end. And we also want to press Y so we can mirror it this way as well. And once we're satisfied with that, we can now hit apply. And what we want to do is just bridge the gap between these two. So let's hit tab to enter edit mode and let's switch from vertices to edge. And I'm going to hold alt and select this edge here to select the entire ring. And I'll hold shift and alt and select this ring here. And I'm going to right click, go to bridge edge loops and quickly you see that I just bridge the gap. But now I have extra polys here that I don't need. So what I'll do is hold Alt and select this ring going this way and hold Shift Alt, select this one, 
hit X on the keyboard and go to dissolve edges and now it's seamless. You just want to do this for the rest of the pieces here. So I might just time lapse this. And it's also nice to mention that if I wanted to avoid uh, bridging this together, I could also just add a weld modifier and it would be done probably a little bit faster. All right guys, now that we're done with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it was quick, simple, and to the point. And if you did, please consider giving this video a like, commenting, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.